Our first look inside a state-of-the-art school that's aiming to give students a state-of-the-art education. Yeah, the new $68 million Barrington Middle School is designed to change the way children learn and also how they're protected. Ivanis News reporter Brandon Truitt takes us inside with local coverage from Barrington. Barrington's new multi-million dollar middle school will be one of the most sophisticated in the state. The opening for this building is the talk of the community. Built on the old athletic grounds, the new $68 million building signals a new era of what's possible for schools in Rhode Island. The three-floor facility has all the bells and whistles you would expect. A state-of-the-art theater? Check. Projectors that turn into interactive touchscreens? In nearly every class. But Superintendent Michael Missouri argues the most impressive parts are what you don't see. It go overrides the fire alarm. School security runs throughout the building. Near bulletproof windows, double locked entries, and security cameras lining the halls. Even an electric lockdown system that can bring the school to a halt in an instant. A sign of the time, school security at the top of the list for the design team. And not just safe as far as security purposes, but we looked at ventilation systems, air, light, uh, just the environment in general. Students will be lining the halls soon. The start of school scheduled for September 3rd. In the meantime, the old school is being torn down. The more than 50-year-old building will serve as the new parking lot and athletic facility. This project wouldn't have taken place without the support of the community of Barrington. The $68 million bill is covered by a state bond. Voters approved it back in November of 2017. As of now, the project is on time and under budget. And there's a great level of excitement among the students that are going to be attending this school and the parents whose children will be attending and the community in general that, that supported this venture. In Barrington, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.